What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? Your girl's back. We already know it's for another video. I got me on a new t-shirt today. Girl, let me tell y'all where I got this from real quick before we even get into this. The Dollar Tree, only one dollar. I think I have like the best Dollar Tree in the United States. The one out here is the bomb. But I really do hope that you guys are having a great day. Dee Dee's on deck. I had this wig for a minute, you guys. But I have worked with this company twice. Scale 1 to 10. I'm going to say their wigs is like a 7. Sometimes it probably could be a 10, depending on what you get. But anyway, Victoria's Wigs sent me this beautiful color wig. Like, y'all know, this is my color. Got some highlights in it. I bleached the knots. I pre-plucked it. It does come with those pre-sewn or these elastic band things right here. The lace is meltable. Looks like it's going to be some really good lace, you guys. It's not a lot of parting. It's a 13 by 4. As long as I could part somewhere, then I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. We're going to jump right into this and we're going to see what it do. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see what it do. I'm going to put on one of my favorite songs in the whole wild world. As much music as there is out there, my favorite song Song, believe it or not is by bill withers which is called lovely day this song is old 1977 okay when you receive your unit from victoria's wigs it will come in their standard white box which states victoria's wig you'll also receive a pamphlet brochure which will give you the return policy and maintenance. Along with that, Victoria's Wilts will provide you with a satin pouch bag which you can store your unit in. There'll also be the amenities of a two-piece wig cap which will come in one of their mesh bag pouches. Along with that, some styling tools such as a rat tail comb, an edge brush, complimentary tweezers, and a makeup brush. Each amenity will vary in each package. The unit that I received is one of their 18 inch 13 by 4 Swiss HD lace lace frontals. The unit is called Cookie on the website and she does have piano streaks of highlighted color number 27 which is an absolutely beautiful color. This unit also does come with an adjustable strap which can be removed and is a density of 180% in volume. The unit will come with a pre-plucked hairline. However, I went ahead and pre-plucked mine once I bleached it with some of my 30 volume developer bleach and allowed it to sit on the unit for about 40 minutes. Make sure you check out Victoria's Wigs as they have many new units to choose from, including the latest trends. I'll link their information down below. Alright guys, so I'm not going to be long because you guys already know the just the steps and what to do once you put on these lace wigs. If you don't, then you can definitely check out so many different tutorials on YouTube of how to put in the lace wig application. But as you guys see here, this adjustable strap thing, I'm going to have to remove it because it was really irritating my ears where it was placed at. I just noticed that a lot of these companies do not place them in the right um, spot, which can become very troublesome, irritating, agitating. So as you guys see, I am going to remove it, which I done did so. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to prepare the unit. As I said, I did bleach the knots on this and I did pre-pluck the hairline. It is somewhat pre-bleached uh, pre for you, so you don't have to really do a lot of the work as well as the pre-plucked hairline, but each person's hairline is different, and I just try to make it suitable for me, okay? So I'm just going to make me some wispy hairs by using my rat tail comb and parting the hair, and what I like to do to adhere my wig is I'll take one of my favorite hairsprays, which is either this one right here or the got to be, um, which is in a pink can. And then I'll just take it and spray it in between the part that I've made or underneath and blow dry it on a medium to cool setting. If you don't have a blow dryer, then you can definitely just spray in small sections at a time 
and allow it to dry by pressing down with a rat tail cone in between the part of where you hairspray. As you guys see, this is where I spray at, right here, and then I blow dry. But if you don't have a blow dryer, you can just still spray and just use your rat tail cone to make sure that it's pressed into your hairline and allow it to dry in small sections. I prefer to use hairspray because glue can get really messy and for me I don't like the wig on all day for several days. It's just really hot. Hairspray is an easy application and for one it does not ruin the lace. It doesn't get all gooey and stuck and messy on your lace. It's a very easy cleanup so I just really like hairspray. You can use the hairspray of your choice, whatever you desire, girl. Just hook it up. Now, you see, I did cut some baby hairs into this unit, but I'm not going to be using them all. I'm going to take that edge brush that was sent to me, and I'm going to brush that baby hair or that sideburn hair down. You guys know I really do prefer to use my green toothbrush, which I've had forever, but I'm just trying to use something different. For this unit, you don't really need any hairs, um, baby hairs or wispy hairs, or but I do need sideburn hairs, okay? It just depends on how you've melted the lace. And like I said, the lace is Swiss HD, which is a really good lace. This lace is definitely meltable. The hair color is pretty. They did their damn thing with this wig, okay? It's 13 by 4 inches of parting, and, you know, it's a decent density. It says 180% density, but to me, it does not feel like that. Honestly, this feels like 150. I don't know where the 180 is at, but I'm going to just say this is 150 in my eyes because it's not that thick, but it's average and it looks natural, you know what I'm saying? But I just don't think that it's 180. It just feels like it's a little bit thin on the thin side, but you know, you could definitely cut layers into this unit if you wanted it fuller. Be careful when you are using the hot comb because, girl, you can scorch and burn yourself with this damn thing. So, I will leave all of their information down below. This is the second or third time that I've worked with them. You know, their hair is like on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to say it's like a number 7. You know, it just depends on what you get and how you take care of it. But you guys know the rest and I'll just leave you guys from here with some music to listen to. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind Try to go to work, but I lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you I can't take no more I miss your touch From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Can't get enough When you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms from me, put your faith in me, put your love on me What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me I'ma do everything for you, I don't want anyone but you Put your arms from me, put your faith in me, put your love on me Can we stop the clock and rewind, go back to that moment in time When you say you want me for life, was it all a lie? I gave my all to deserve ya Begging on my knees just to show ya You're the one I want and I love ya No, 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 no lie I miss your touch From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Can't get enough When you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms from me, put your faith in me, put your love on me What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me I'ma do everything for you, I don't want anyone but you Put your arms from me, put your faith in me, put your love on me Alright you guys, so this is it, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done So she came out really cute, I like this length One thing that I wasn't happy about was I had to remove the elastic band But when these first, when people, when companies started doing these Like the first, when they first started doing them It was like really exciting to get a wig Like he was like, you know, and I don't know about you But I know I was like, oh yeah, I don't have to put one in This is easy, it's already in there, I could adjust it It was all that good stuff but it then started seeming like it was just like a more of a hassle than a good cause. You know what I'm saying? Like they always seem to be like in the wrong spot, hurting my ears all the way up here. So then I had to remove it and then just sew in a regular elastic band. 
because these things be like so thick. If it were up to me, I would just rather them just sew in a regular elastic band in that bad boy and then put like some hooks at the end to where you can adjust it. All of that stuff, that thickness right here, it just don't work. And I always seem like I have to remove them. Just, just like, just don't do it no more. Okay, just don't. The hairline came out nice. The color is so pretty. Like, I really do like this color a lot. You know, it's very suitable. I think, like, anybody could wear this color. Especially when they have, like, you know what I'm saying, highlights and stuff like this. And the scalp, girl, the scalp is to be, like, you know what I'm saying, look good. The scalp look, the scalp look like scalpage. They have some decent wigs. I would give this one, like... Only because the elastic band, I'm going to give y'all a nine. Okay, it seems like it's a little bit thin on the thinner side to me, like in certain areas. But, you know, if you put some layers in this bad boy, she'll be good to go. Hot combing the edges, like, I really don't want to burn myself. Like, girl, if you got a canvas block mannequin head, use that to hot comb because you don't want any scars on your hairline, for real, from a hot comb. Like, them things can be dangerous. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't want to take up too much of your time plus too much of mine because I still got to do another couple of videos. You know how I do. But you know what I'm saying? Well, I even like my makeup today. For real. It looks like really, really cute. And like, I, okay, listen, I used a whole different beauty sponge today and I like the way this came out. I might have to use this on a, on a regular basis. My lashes even looking good. Hello, eyebrows is on fleek. That's because they didn't grow in. I, let my, I just finally let my eyebrows just grow back the heck in. Because, like, who the heck want to go outside with half of an eyebrow all the time? Like, girl, please. It's just too much work. I ain't even got no eyeliner on. I had to stop doing the eyeliner, okay, on the top lid. Because, listen, my eyes are so hooded that it takes me, like, 15, 20 minutes to do an eyeliner. Like, girl, I'm over that, too. Over that. And plus, this without it makes my eyes look wider. So, kudos to that. And on that note, you guys already know what to do. What it do, boo. You know, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. You know what I'm saying? Share it with the world. I don't even care if you don't like them. Just share the video. Let me know what y'all think. And I love you guys, and I got to go. Got to do another video. So have a great day, and I'll see y'all on the next one.